Hi, my name is Marcus Cohn. I am a sales manager with Synology, and I will be hosting the Synology Solutions Seminars YouTube playlist. This is the first of seven videos, and in this video, we will be discussing Synology's hardware offerings, as well as an overview of Synology's DSM operating system. Also, towards the end of this video, we will be discussing the next six videos and what those videos will be covering. But for this one, let's go ahead and jump right in with an overview of Synology's hardware. So as you can see, we have four main product series that we split up based on their performance level. We have the J series, the value series, the plus series, and the XS and XS plus series. So at the J and the value series are our more consumer focused units. They're not going to have a very high storage capacity or a very high performance level as they are meant for home use. If you're looking for a business application, that is where you'd want to look at the plus and the XS and XS plus series as those are the business focused units that Synology offers. These units can range anywhere from 2 to 180 bays and at the top end can expand past 2 petabytes of raw storage. Coupled with that, we have many different levels of performance that can be hit with each unit. So please uh, take advantage of the tools we have on our website to get an idea over what we offer and what will work for your client. But you may be looking at this slide and thinking that Synology offers a lot of different products, but their naming scheme looks kind of confusing. How do I differentiate between each unit? So while that may be the case sometimes, there's a great deal of information built directly into our product names. So you may have noticed the products on the previous slide incorporate their performance tier as the last segment of the model number, either the plus, the J, the XS plus, or, or one of the value series. Our product naming convention is actually extremely intuitive once it has been explained and can actually help you ascertain quite a bit of information about our product without any additional research whatsoever. So let's break it down. So in the beginning of any of our product names is going to be the form factor. Either we have the RS or the DS. DS standing for disk station or a more desktop form factor. RS standing for rack station or a unit that is meant to be mounted in a rack solution. We also have DX and RX for our expansion units as well. To the right of the form factor will be the max number of bays supported with expansion units. So as you can see, we have a 12 bay head unit with the RS36, but just based on the name alone, you automatically can see that this unit can have two 12 bay expansions attached to the back, giving you a total of 36 drive bays. To the right of the max number of drive bays supported will be the year in which the unit was released. In this case, we have the RS3617, therefore you know it is a 2017 unit. And to the right of that, you'll have the performance indicator. This will range anywhere from a J to an XS Plus, and helps to note the overall performance level of the unit itself. We do want to highlight one thing though. In some of our product names, there will actually be an RP before this XS. Now this just states that this is a redundant power version of that existing XS unit. So while we have the J, the value, the plus, and the XS plus series of units, we also came out with a new series of units back in early 2017 called the Flash Station series. This is a series consisting of all three Flash units that Synology currently produces that do not conform to the standard Synology naming scheme. So let's break this one down as well. The FS in the beginning of the product name stands for flash station, while the number after will be the performance indicator. The higher the number, the higher the performance. I do want to note that all of these units are virtualization ready and are VMware, Citrix, and Windows certified as well. They are also entirely OpenStack compatible, so please check these out if you're looking for high performance storage with some very solid software behind it. So we have covered many different units and unit series thus far, and you may be wondering how do you go about choosing which units will work for your client? We've actually outlined a couple useful questions we always ask our clients as they greatly help narrow down which units will work. The first question I personally ask every client is how much storage space do you need? Once you have this crucial piece of info, you're able to remove a significant portion of our product line as you will know how many bays they will need. From there, 
you're able to ask the more granular questions so you can further narrow down your search. The next question we usually ask is how many people will be accessing the NAS at the same time? For under five people, we recommend a J series. Between 10 and 100, a plus series, and anything over 100, we recommend an XS or XS plus. Also, question on how many applications they will be using, as the more applications they use, the higher CPU and RAM requirements they will have. Last, you need to get an idea if there are any hardware requirements that are necessary, such as 10 gig connectivity and SSD caching. So over the course of the last five minutes, we've been discussing Synology's products in relation to NAS, or Network Attached Storage. Synology has been one of the market leaders in NAS storage for many years, and we continue to push the envelope as we grow. In early 2016, we released the RT1900AC, also known as the first Synology router. In February 2017, this last year, we released the RT2600AC to the public and got immediate positive reception. Small Net Builder ranked our new router the number one for 2017, and CNET also chose the RT2600AC as their editor's choice for February 2017, as well as stating that this router was the best router any savvy user could ask for. We wanted to highlight these awards as we are a newcomer to the networking market, but are already making waves with our easy to use software and very user intuitive interface. So with that, we are going to move away from the hardware portion of this video and focus on the proprietary operating system that runs on every Synology NAS. The operating system we produce is called Disk Station Manager, or DSM for short. This is a Linux-based OS that has a web-based GUI. This is also accessible from any web browser, and it is currently in the 6.1 version of this software. Synology's DSM operating system comes with many different features, so we like to highlight this in an overview section to give you a more general idea over what it can do. We are currently compatible with all major file sharing protocols, whether that's AFP for Macs, CIFS for Windows, or SMB for Linux. We offer the ability for remote management, so whether or not you want to access your data or just change various settings on your NAS, you can do that from anywhere as long as you have a network connection. We offer the ability for backup and redundancy, whether or not that's backing up your NAS to an existing medium or backing up servers and workstations to your NAS itself. We are fully compatible with virtual storage, which we'll actually be covering in more detail later. We have a full surveillance management suite that helps you easily manage and collect the data from those IP cameras. We offer many different productivity and collaboration tools, helping staff easily communicate and have easy access to data to become more productive. We have many different multimedia tools as well, helping you easily manage and stream those audio and video files. And we are always increasing our security and compliancy so you feel secure that your data is secure. So while Synology's DSM does come with many features built directly into it, we like the idea of being able to add additional functionality to your NAS through the installing of packages. Now you can think of this as essentially an app store for your NAS. We call it the Package Center. We have many different business and enterprise packages available, ranging from high availability to centralized management to VPN server uh, to hyper backup, the list goes on and on. We also offer many different end user productivity and collaboration tools, ranging from video station to audio station to Synology chat to Synology calendar. And we also offer third party packages. Now these packages have been developed for our platform by their respective development teams and range anywhere from Amazon Glacier to McAfee Antivirus to WordPress to Elephant Drive. So with that, we come to the end of this first video where we can highlight the schedule for the next six videos in this playlist. Each of the next videos will cover one of the topics listed here as they are common scenarios for Synology products. We want to be able to provide you with as much information as possible if you are presented with one of these scenarios. So please, Sit tight as we have six more coming and thank you so much for having me on this first video. Let's dive right into the second.